Hey guys, I found this problem yet again on Andy Math. I think this is day 7 of his advent calendar, and it looks pretty interesting, so let's solve it. Alright, so the only two assumptions we need to make for this are that the triangle is in the middle of the semicircle, and that the square and the triangle meet at this point here. Alright, now that we have that down, let's solve. So we're trying to figure out the area of the square. Let's name that A. Now A is just going to equal S squared, where S is the side length of the square. Now we can't find S right away because, well, we don't know the length of S. But we, what we can do is find a side length of the triangle. So we know that the diameter of the semicircle is 6. That means the radius will be half of that, which is 3. Now the radius of a circle is just the distance from the center to the outer edge. And since this is a semicircle, the center will technically be right here, and the distance of 3 will be from here to the outer edge. That was a terrible line, let me redraw that. Alright, so this is going to be 3. And you might also notice that this is the height of this triangle. So using this, we can find the side length, which is not going to equal to 3, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Now we can do this using trigonometry. So every equilateral triangle, which this question says it is, has three 60 degree angles. So we can use trigonometry to figure out the side length. So let's name this side here A. And this would be the hypotenuse, but we don't really need that for this case. So the tangent of 60 degrees is going to equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side to 60 degrees. So the opposite is going to be 3, and the adjacent side to 60 is A. That's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find A. Now we can rearrange this and just say that A is equal to 3 divided by the tangent of 60. Now you do need a calculator to compute this, and that's going to equal roughly 1.73. Now we can find the side length, that's just going to be two of those, and working that out in my head, that's just going to be 3.46. That's going to be the entire side length, 3.46. But we don't actually need to, to do that. We just needed to find A, and we've established that that is 1.73. Why did we only need to find A? Well, now we can find S using that. So we can draw another triangle. We can draw one edge, which is going to be S. We can draw this length here, and a hypotenuse. Terribly drawn again, let me redraw that. Alright, so we know that this is going to be 1.73, as we just worked out, that's going to be A. Now this hypotenuse is also going to be 3, because remember a radius is from the center to the outer edge, and this line here is from the center to the outer edge, so that's going to be 3. And now we just need to work out S. We can use Pythagoras' theorem, so we know that the two side lengths, s and 1.73, squared, are going to equal the hypotenuse squared, which is 3. So remember, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. C, c is going to be 3. Uh, a, we can just say, is 1.73. So we're just going to have 1.73 squared plus b squared is equal to 3 squared. Right, and we're trying to find b. So we can rearrange the equation and just say 3 squared minus 1.73 squared, why did I write it like that, is equal to b squared. And this right here is going to be approximately, or pretty much 6. And that's going to equal b squared. Now usually to get the get b, we would square root both sides, but we actually don't need to do that, right? Now, as much as I called this b, this is actually s. So the length of this edge right here, we called that b, but as you know, that is also s, as we mentioned in the beginning of the video. So we can just say 6 is equal to s squared. And again, usually we'd square root both sides to get that edge length, but we don't need to do that because we were trying to find s squared, which is the area. So now we know s squared is equal to 6, and that is the answer to our problem.
the area is equal to 6.